Hi, my name is Luis and we are making a book tonight only using JavaScript and InDesign. It's not a very conventional way to make books, but I think it's very fun to make in this way. So I'm going to show you in a very, very, very simple way. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions or suggestions, just write in the comments. So should we go? Should we go? Cool. So the first thing we are going to open in design is here. So you can create a new file, new document, letter, letter is fine, okay. Then, cool. So you're going to window, utilities, scripts, and it's supposed to open this window. And so there is a folder called user. I'm going to uh, option click and reveal in finder. And this is the, the folder. So we need to drop a script inside this folder and, it's going to, and we can run it. So let's go. I'm going, to, I'm going to use Sublime, but you can use whatever you want. So the first thing we are going to create a color swatch. So let's go. So it's app. Active document dot colors dot add. So we are adding new swatches. So it's color value. So there will be four values. It's cyan. The first one is cyan. Second is magenta, yellow, and black. And then we need a name. Some name. I think that's pretty. That's pretty much this thing. Cool. So I'm I'm making a full cyan blue, so it's a cyan, blue cyan. So the this first one should be 100 and I'm gonna save it, save as colors.jsx and I'm gonna save on desktop. Cool, so here it is on desktop. I'm dragging this File to the scripts panel and cool. Go back to InDesign and I hope it's here. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna run it. Cool. Yeah, it just added a new one. It's a full cyan. I can you can check it if you want. So it's a full cyan rectangle right now, and the name is blue cyan. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. Now we can go back to the, the, the code and instead of making just one swatch, we are making a for loop to create a bunch of new swatches. So let's make it for i equals zero. If you guys don't know how to use a for loop, I encourage you to check some documentation. So it's a loop, it's going to start at zero and while i is less than a hundred, it keeps running this code and every time it repeats the i adds one and then it run, runs again and again and again. This is a counter, it's going to, it's going to start at zero and it's gonna it's going to be until a hundred and now I'm changing some numbers to I so I zero the first time so it's gonna the color value is gonna be one here zero here and then one and then two then three then four then five until till ninety nine so and the name every time it runs it's gonna change the name so it's gonna I'm gonna say C for cyan plus I. That's pretty much. I'm saving it. I'm gonna drag it again. 
place. We can actually, we can use right from here. Cool. And I'm gonna run it again. It's running, it can take a while, and check it out. It's a beautiful gradient. It's from cyan zero to cyan 99, full of magenta, no yellow, no black. Those are the swatches. Pretty cool, right? Now we are creating another script so it can make the pages of the book. I'm gonna copy and paste, oh sorry, copy and paste. And I'm going to open and I'm going to start, start again everything and I'm gonna call it pages. We are making a, a script called pages. It's gonna be here. So I'm gonna open up so I can start writing. So we need now to make a bunch of pages full of the colors that we made before. Let's create var my document. Uh, we are not creating anything. We are just using the document that it's already opened. Then my document dot pages dot add. So we are adding new pages. Then we're creating my text frame, which is the frame that is going to contain the color and the text. Geomet geometric bounds is the, the boundaries of the text frame. The fill color is the, the color of the text frame. And contents is the, is the text that is going to be inside the frame. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we are making a loop again. So we are going through from 0 to 99, get the fill color that we made before. And now we are going to set the text that is going to live inside the text frame. So it's var my text. Uh, so I can set up the point size, 20, the font, Helvetica, font style regular, the justification, and the fill color, which is the color of the uh, paper, which is white. We are making now a date. So yeah, we can get the seconds and milliseconds. It's gonna it's gonna print inside the contents. Now let's let's run again. Yeah, and that's it. So we just created everything, and so the content inside is there. It's yeah, C. it's all there. Now Check you see for Kai and the second, use and then the, the milliseconds, and you it's can all build there on the top of this. You can see the background, top of the page. or you can make yeah, this and all the colors are there. The book itself, yeah, according to the swatches. So we I made. hope you guys like it. Yeah, now let's and export any suggestion or question. Just write book, it down the book. on the comments. All the Code and scripts Spread. are going to be on my website, so you can download it. Now I'm closing so, it. Yeah, opening. See you. Cool. So, just made all of the pages. Yeah, it's all there. Now you can use the way you want. You can build a book on the top of this beautiful background or you can make this in a book itself. So I hope you guys like it and any suggestion or question just write it down on the comments. All the code and scripts are going to be on my website so you can download it. So yeah, see you.